Goodness, welcome back. So we've been gone a couple weeks since Thanksgiving and it has been kind of a rough and tumble a uh, couple weeks. So if you remember back, we uh, were processing some birds, getting ready for Thanksgiving. And that went off pretty well. Birds were delicious at Thanksgiving and we had a small family gathering for there. Since then, well, it's been interesting. So Nikki came down with some kind of a sickness, bug, I don't know what you want to call it. So for about a week and a half, she really couldn't sleep, didn't have a lot of appetite, didn't feel good, uh, the sweats, all kinds of fun stuff. So she has been kind of mending over that, but she's pretty good now. And well, that left me to keep the uh, homestead going pretty much. Um, we could do chores together in that. I'd do mine and help her with hers, but it was kind of exciting, kind of exciting for a couple weeks. So let's get you caught up on what has been going on since then. So if you see behind in the chicken door here in the chicken house, there are chickens. So we had to move these guys from the barn out there. We actually had, I think, a raccoon get in there two different nights and get to uh, one chicken a piece out of the cages. So rather than continue to lose chickens, we actually brought them in and set them in here. So they're good. So you can see behind, uh, Nikki's got some uh, nest boxes done here. She's also got the divider walls in and the perches and that. So we're continuing to work on these and get these uh, situated for the winter and get the chickens in their permanent home. But right now, they're at least safe and secure in here and happy to be down here where it stays a little bit warmer than in the barn. So people driving by now probably are thinking we're starting to hoard tractors down here and we kind of are. So my in-laws have decided that uh, this year they were going to go to Arizona for the winter. And my father-in-law dropped off his tractor, which has a nice cab and heat and AC and all the fun stuff that we don't. And he's also got a seven-foot snowblower. So this will be here. Uh, if you look behind, you can kind of see there's a little bit of snow. We've had only maybe a couple inches so far, and it's been in the 40s up to 50 most days. So it's starting to melt off in that. But... If we get another 18 inches like we did in January this year, come in the, a month, we're going to be ready to clear the road with that versus trying to do it uh, with just the bucket on the tractor. Yay, snow blowers. So now up in the barns um, with the goats and all that, you can see I at least got this cleaned out. So this is ready to go for winter. I've got hay or straw down for the dogs and I need to finish up putting it in for the goats back here and they'll be ready to go and then cleaning uh, the stall for our llama, our guard llama up here. So this will be good to go. You can see there, there. Uh, a couple of ladies have been already been moved. We did get all the warming done, all the feet trimmed up, all the ladies that have already moved over across with the boys. And we still need to uh, take care of some of the ladies in here for their hoof trimming and the warming for winter. So this is where we used to have our chickens, all of our chicks that Kanan showed. Um, those are going to be our new breeders for this, this spring this year. So we had them in here. Kanan's gotten it all cleaned out. So we're doing a bunch of cleaning in here, trying to get ready for the winter. Uh, we're going to put some straw back here so that we'll have straw for the stalls that we can keep separately from the hay. And uh, move some dog food around. We store some of the dog food for a couple of the dogs. And then my parents are bringing... Their dogs here while they snowbird in Arizona this year, so we'll have dog food for them as well. So mostly this is just kind of a storage overflow area in this barn. So this stall, we've not really been using it for goats. Um, it's been overflow and this is where we had all of our crap stored. Um, so we've gotten it cleaned out. This is going to be where the dogs are. Um, my parents, two dogs that are coming to stay with us. So it's a pretty, pretty big pen. It's a 10 by 10. The dogs are very old, a little bit arthritic, arthritic, so they're they're probably going to spend most of the winter in. Um, but we had to put some boards at the bottom because one of them is a dachshund, so she's a little tiny dog. Uh, and the other one is a, I want to say it's a golden retriever. So um, Kanan had to move some electrical lines that had popped up in this stall, so he dug out and moved those yesterday. So we're going to go get some straw from my folks this morning and get the stall finished off, bring the two dogs to their dog houses in here, and we'll be ready for some coochies. So a couple weeks ago we did get um, a couple of our breeding sets of goats in. 
We still got a whole bunch of work to do in the other barn to get goats moved. Uh, but Rascal and Jasper each have two ladies, which has greatly reduced the amount of banging and destruction in the barn, <laughs> which is always a good thing. And I think the girls are settling pretty quick because they're not uh, they're not running quite as badly anymore. So we are getting there. Well, we finally got all of our chickens and turkeys for the year butchered. So these guys are it for next year. The big blue and one of these chocolates will uh, be our freezer birds for next year. The other chocolates will be breeders. We still, if the weather holds out, <laughs> we still have some ducks to butcher. We got one lone duck in here and then some old guys out back to be done. But uh, a far less mouse to feed this winter, which is always a good thing. So it's been a pretty slow winter um, as far as rabbits are concerned. With the fading of the light, the shorter days, it's harder and harder to get good conception rates. But we do have some. Some babies have made it. Um, because of the conception rates being so low, we've had a lot of litters of just two and three babies that, in the cold that we're getting, single digits already, um, it's really, really difficult to keep them alive. So we have lost a few litters. I fostered a few litters to does to try and keep the numbers up. Um, beyond that, we've got some new rabbits coming. A good friend of mine is getting out of Harlequins for a while. So we're gonna be bringing home eight more rabbits. And I have been building, if you follow us on Instagram, you've already seen it, I've been building some new nest boxes. So we're gonna have a video coming out on these here pretty soon, so you can learn how to do this if you're raising your own. They're a little bit um, more, um, I'm gonna say better for the winter because they're so thick uh, and cheaper than anything you can buy in the store. So we're gonna do a tutorial on those and you'll learn how to make your own nest boxes. So that's really kind of what we've been up to lately and Christmas is only a couple weeks away. My parents are flying in next week so we've got some uh, rearranging in the house to get ready for. Get the bed set up so they can stay and uh, just kind of clean up and all that stuff. You see behind Still have a little bit of trash to throw away out of the barn itself. No, it's just kind of the cleanup. But we are steadily uh, getting ready for winter. And if 18 inches fall soon enough, we're going to be prepared this year. We're not going to stand by and let winter affect us. So hopefully you guys are uh, rocking on on your homesteads. And if you have any questions on anything I've shown or not shown, or you have questions on anything we do, you know how to find us. We'll see you next time.